Hello, my fellow broke aristocrats. How are you today? I am sitting in a park. I thought I would treat you all to this great uh, scenery. So happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, today I had a chance to um, take the apartment. You should be seeing in the opening vignette a picture of the apartment, the studio. As you can see, I have a little fake fireplace and I think I might invest in the future in one of those electrical appliance, uh, fireplaces. What do you think? And just put it there. There's some good deals on Amazon.com. So I decided to talk a little bit about what's going on with me with the new location and to have a picnic. So this is going to be a fun little conversation with you. So first I want to talk about what I'm having for lunch. I went to Trader Joe's and I got a Hansen's. Uh, this is low sugar ginger ale. It is made with cane sugar, but uh, it's a fairly low amount of sugar they use. I'm still weak when it comes to sugar. I got myself some bananas for my smoothies for tomorrow. Uh, a nice snack that I like to get is the pistachio nut. And my lunch today, have you seen these? These are a quick uh, get up and go uh, lunches. This one is the chicken Asian style noodle salad. Sometimes I like to get the other one which is made with broccoli and chicken. That's quite good. So trying to expand my horizons there. So total cost came to... $11.88. Uh, I took out 40 so that I would have some cash. So there is the receipt. Yay, Dr. Whimsy. So if you do, do decide you want to get one of these salads, uh, this salad ran for $4.29, which is, I think, a fairly good price for lunch. Uh, there are other salads there that are $3.50, uh, give or take. Uh, so now I want to talk about the apartment. Uh, I'm going to switch hands. Um, as I had said, I live in LA and I had been saving beyond a thousand dollars in the event of an emergency. I knew that that wasn't going to wasn't going to cut it if I had to get up and move really quickly. I have allergies, excuse me. Um, so I continued to pay down the credit card debt while putting money aside in my emergency fund beyond the thousand dollars, as I said, in the event that something like this would happen. So I had been living in the guest house. Um, it was a nice little quiet um, area, but it didn't have a working kitchen. So I did not anticipate that I would be spending more money uh, buying food out because I didn't have a, uh, a cooking area. So money went up in that department, you know, hundreds of dollars out the window, because even if you are trying to be frugal, healthy, cheap, if you're not making it yourself, you're not gonna be able to stay on a very good budget. So that was not good. The other problem was that we had a pipe explode underneath the old Victorian house. Uh, sewage started to come in up, seeping up uh, into my shower. So I had to turn off the water and I had to I, I couldn't flush anything, but I could put warm water in a bucket, and this is how bad it was. Put warm water in a bucket and do sponge baths. I did that for two weeks, and then I was also taking showers in the house. At that point, you know, frugal people, we can put up with a lot, but that for me is probably not what most of my fellow broke aristocrats would put up with. So, um, I decided to move. I started to look for a place. Today I agreed to sign the lease on a place that's uh, $1,550 a month. Uh, that's uh, $800 more than I'm paying right now. So I'm going to have to slash in my budget to afford for it. That will be uh, cutting some of the Uber, which is fine because I'm now 20 minutes from my offices so I can just shoot one bus and it's very easy to get to work so that so I don't have to do uber as much and I'll be saving money in groceries or in my food budget because 
I'm going to be cooking from scratch and I'm going to be very frugal and frugal healthy and I'll probably shoot some videos in the future about what I'm going to be making. But despite all of my scrimping and saving and preparing for an emergency, I found out today that instead of moving in on June 15th, uh, the space is available June 1st. Do I want to take it or not? So I took it. Now, the former landlord says, you know, you really need to give me 30 days notice, even though it's an emergency and I gotta go. Uh, so I have to pay rent on the apartment I'm living in now. She cut me a discount though, because of the inconvenience of having to use the indoor facilities. Um, so I have to pay a month on the house, plus first and last, uh, plus everything else for the new place. So this was why my emergency fund was beyond $1,000. Uh, this is why I continued to squirrel money away in my emergency fund beyond $1,000 while paying off the credit cards. And again, everybody's situation is unique and you ha kind of have to do what works best for you. When I looked at my financial situation, uh, it was going to be... Uh, 30, uh, $3,300 to the landlord. I have to come up with $3,300 cash. He wants a cashier's check. Um, $3,300 to him. Uh, $700 to, for the place I'm living in now. So that's $4,000 plus deposits and uh, security check, plus a money to pay the movers, etc., uh, etc., etc., et and then possibly lost wages for time spent moving. So we're talking about approximately $4,500 to $5,000 for this situation to correct itself. So, I saved and I was responsible, but if I were to use all the money I have, I would be dipping below $1,000 on my emergency fund. So what do you do in that situation? Do you say, well, I'm just going to have faith and dig into the, the, the last $1,000 and hand it over? What do you do? In my situation, I decided to take an advance on my job. Um, the owner of the company that I work at was nice enough to say, okay, here's an extra $1,500. You can uh, pay it off in increments without interest coming straight out of my paycheck. Now, I think that's not a bad deal because I'm not paying interest and because uh, it's going to be paid over time and it's getting me out of an emergency. But again, $5,000 didn't cut it. $5,000 didn't cut it. So I think we need to update the emergency <laughs> funds uh, goals. Uh, so uh, my suggestions to people is uh, what again, whatever your emergency situation is, first, last, deposit, etc. <coughs> Calculate all of that. If that's if you're thinking emergency move, if you're using that as your guidepost for what you're going to put in your um, emergency fund, then for me it turned out to be an emergency fund of five thousand uh, dollars. Well, actually five and a half thousand dollars with a thousand dollars remaining in my emergency fund when everything is all said and done. So when this is all said and done, I'll have a thousand dollars in savings. So that was uh, the situation, that is the situation, and I'm just grateful that I have a, a boss that understood the situation and uh, he offered and, and uh, it's without interest and um, yeah, so that, that's that. All right, so I'm going to celebrate with my lunch. And I forgot to bring forks and spoons and all that good stuff. So I don't know how I'm going to eat this. Out. I'm going to have to borrow from one of the picnic people here. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tell me what you're doing to take care of yourself on a budget and what you would have done. 
Um, I, I can say that uh, the landlord actually has been really nice. Uh, my former landlord, I know people are kind of like, no, just leave, don't give her anything. But I want to say something in defense of, of uh, the woman I'm living with right now. She took me in when I was going through divorce and I didn't have the finances to do much of anything and did not require first, last, and deposit. And I would have been in a very bad situation if the person I'm living with right now hadn't said, you know what, move in with me, I'll cut you a deal, just get on your feet. And that three years of charging very little money for this part of the world with very little deposit was the three years worth of grace that allowed me to build my private practice to where it's at right now. So uh, these things happen and you just have to work with people. And uh, so I chose to um, work with her and she gave me a reduced rate because of the inconvenience and so everybody's fine and you have to just show everybody grace so all right love you all <laughs> thanks for watching